What is up, boys and girls, and welcome back. It's Albi, like always, with some more Binding of Isaac. And uh, we, we, we've been holding it for too long. We have to play as Lazarus. We need to fill out his freaking card. And it's funny, because honestly, like being 100% honest here, I don't think Lazarus is really that bad. I really don't. But something about him just makes me not want to play him. And that's, that's, that's what it comes down to. And our first item is Libra. Alright, six of every item isn't bad. It's not bad. Um, basically like a better crate or something like that. Or I think it's not the call the crate anymore. It's called the box. But uh, it's basically like a better box in my opinion. It does allow us to maybe get enough money for the uh, shop on this floor. Also gives us enough uh, keys to kind of open golden chests if we run into them and uh, other yummy goodies, goody yummies. That's a heart. And you know, if I could actually hit, that would be nice. We're getting a lot of uh, red heart drops, which I'm not sure why. I mean, does he have a higher rate of uh, getting heart drops? Give me a second, I need to lower the game audio a little bit more because I don't feel or I don't want to be talking over the music so much. Uh, and it usually happens. It usually happens. Me talking over music is like otters swimming in the Himalayas. The Himalayas, no, that doesn't even make sense, obviously. I was going to say ocean, sea, but that would have been boring. Swimming in the Himalayas is so much better. We got bombs or keys, which does nothing for us. All right. Well, I'm wondering, is this a XL? By any chance? No, this is just the basement. Alright. Which is good. What's this? This is the hero font? Uh, we'll pick that up on the way out. We're definitely gonna blow that up. And uh, I think we should finish off the floor, more or less, before we move on. 48 hour energy is actually really good. But I obviously can't use it because I have no uh, spacebar item. So what do I need moving forward with Lazarus? Uh, damage? I feel like his damage is really low. I'm not sure how it compares to you with uh, someone like Maggie who starts off with low or damage. Uh, who else starts with low? Who else starts with low damage? Um, I think that's it. Maggie starts. Oh, Eve. Eve starts with really low damage. So uh, I'm not sure if it's at that level, but. Uh, you know, he definitely starts off with weaker damage than uh, Isaac, I think. Uh, definitely Judas, obviously. Maybe even Samson? Does Samson start with good base damage? I don't think so. Okay, can you stop? You have me cornered. I'm sorry. <laughs> they, like, seriously, like, cornered me. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I'm gonna corner you. And then I'm gonna rape you. But, uh, god damn. I'm taking a lot of damage against the Gurglings, Gurglings. But, uh, once I get one down, I feel like it'll make my job, like, 20 times easier. Okay, run. We don't want to die. We have four freaking Spirit Hearts waiting for us outside this boss room. And if I die, I'm going to be the saddest. The saddest of kids. And you don't want that, do you, Mom? Okay, Mom maybe wants it. Okay. Coming. <gasps> Okay, I am the worst Binding of Isaac player in existence. Honestly, though, that God damn, that was so bad. Um, let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's not talk about how I seriously just died to gurglings. Man, all right, we have a we lost two heart containers, which sucks. That definitely sucks, but we picked up five spirit hearts, which doesn't suck as much. Do I also start with higher damage? I feel like I'm maybe doing more damage than I was before? Is that a thing? I think so. Huh. I did not know that about uh, Lazarus. Is Like, am I completely wrong on this? It might be like some kind of like placebo effect type crap going on, but uh, I really do feel like he has higher damage now that I have died. Alright. Well. 
We have our boss right away. Do we do it? Do we go fight our boss right away? I say yes. It's only pin. Yeah, just hit yourself with a bomb and then waste another bomb and, uh, you know. That's great. Uh, I'm... Anemic? I guess? Is that one of Lazarus's traits? Being anemic or something? I don't know. Uh, we will take Whore Babylon, because that's permanent Whore Babylon, uh, state, so... That's really good for us. Wait, why are we not in permanent Whore Babylon? Uh, is something gonna matter here? Like, I'm not in permanent Whore Babylon, am I? Uh, I don't know. This, this, <laughs> this run has been a little bit weird. A little bit weird in the sense that, uh, I died right off the bat, and that, like, totally confused me uh, also with the fact that uh, I seem to be doing more damage but I'm, I can't deny or verify that and the fact that uh, I should be in permanent horror Babylon state and I'm not so all those things are confusing me right now holy water yeah I'm telling you man Lazarus is probably the worst character in existence well, not worse than, not worse than uh, Eve, but Eve is like trash tier, like honestly, Eve is so bad. God damn it, I can't believe I uh, lost so much <laughs> health right there. Uh, we might as well look for our secret room. Good. Five cents, six cents, hey, we can make something of our shop, maybe pick up an item that will uh, carry us a little bit. We did unlock Red Candle in the, like, two episodes ago. And Red Candle, for those of you that don't know, is basically the, the equivalent, I guess, of, uh, it's basically the equivalent of, uh, Blue Candle from the original Binding of Isaac, except I'm not sure if it destroys, like, incoming tears, like the other the other person's, the other enemies, the enemy's tears, because I know Blue Candle did that, but, uh, like I said, I can't deny or, uh, confirm that. I know it's, uh, it recharges, like, like the Blue Candle, so it's like, um, you could probably use it, like, two or three times in a room pretty damn easily, and, uh, and it's great, it's fantastic. And it does a lot of damage, so uh, if we could get that, since we have no spacebar item, it's, you know that and Krampus's head are like fantastic offensive weapons or spacebar items. Uh, Pinky Shears is also really good. The only problem with Pinky Shears is that uh, you can only use it once every, what, six rooms or so? So uh, not fantastically great, but it's not that bad either. But yeah, Pinky Shears can seriously, like, destroy any boss, probably up to, like, Mom really easily. Actually, probably up to Mom's heart really easily. I'm actually not that sure, because I haven't picked it up quite... Like, every time it shows up, I have, like, the D6 or something, and, uh... Obviously, I choose the D6 over something like the Pinky Shears. Because the possibilities with, uh... With D6 is just so much better. You know, bad items could potentially turn to great items. Also, they could potentially turn to bad, really bad items. But, uh, you know, for, for the most part, it's, it's really positive. It's, it's great. It's fantastic. I can't believe I took damage there. Take this pill. Tears down. Yeah. Uh, great. Fantastic. Just what I wanted. This could be a tears up pill. I would love it. Speed down. Yeah. Great. That's actually really good. I'm a big fan of uh, Daddy Longlegs, so uh, happy to have him on board. Maybe he could compensate for the fact that I got a uh, Tears Down in the form of a Deadly Pill. Now we are looking to still kind of stack up uh, deal with the devil items and uh, maybe pick up something that will carry us because apparently 
I can't dodge for crap this time around. I think I've been pretty good at my, like, dodging lately. But, uh, obviously, this time around, with the gurglings and the... Uh, and everything else, it hasn't been too great. Come on, Day, long legs. Again, hit him. No, not the poop. Hit the big guy, the big fat guy with the moves. Right in front of me, farting like he ate like a whole can of beans. There we go. And that is an HP upgrade, which is fantastic. Gladly take it. And that is the whole entire floor. That seemed really short for some reason. Look for a secret room like that. And uh, you know what? With this many bombs, why not try embalming our way into the, the shop where we uh, find nothing that really benefits us. So uh, we'll leave and uh, we will pick up Child's Heart since we have no other trinket with us. And you know what? I will look for the second secret room, which is... I don't know, I feel like the it has more of a tendency of being right next to the boss room than, uh... Than not, basically. Alright, that is a lot of money. Uh, and we will play this. That at least gives us enough money to, uh... That gives us enough money to... Go to the shop and maybe buy something. It also puts us in permanent horror Babylon state, which I'm I'm not sure. I thought horror Babylon state all you need to do was have one red heart, not half of a red heart. Um, but I guess not. I don't know. I'm not sure. These guys are moving around really fast, and uh, I'm glad Daddy Longlegs just like shoved that big. Holy crap! What? How did I not get hit there? Don't question it! Just, uh, agree. Nod your head. Be happy. Alright. Got some extra money, a bomb, and half of a red heart. Yeah, that turns us back into normal, so I guess it's half a heart? I don't know. But we will, you know, obviously, uh give that half a heart right away because I'd rather be in Horror Babylon state because of the extra damage, obviously. And if I could, uh, give my hearts to the devil for some extra, you know, good items and, uh, to stay in Permanent Horror Babylon, I will, uh, gladly do so. I'll pick that up later. Soy milk. I'm not gonna pick up soy milk. I am not a fan of soy milk. I think it's a bad item. I think this is a pretty bad run, in general. Uh, and uh, soy milk is not gonna be our savior. What the hell is that? Eve's Mascara. Damage up, shot speed down. Alright, what's the damage up? I appreciate that. And I think that's the first time I've ever picked this item up, so uh, thank you, I guess. And like I said, it's a damage up. Who's gonna say no to a damage up? We'll pick that up. I'm gonna stay in permanent horror battle for the rest of the fight. I could just go and uh, donate back to the blood bank when I get out. This is not a big deal. And I feel like we're doing uh, decent damage. You know, obviously we did take that tears down uh, earlier, which sucked. And if uh, we didn't, or if that didn't happen, we would be doing probably a lot better. Probably. Well, let's take our time and go back. We're probably not going to do boss rush because of the fact that this run started off on the wrong foot, basically. And, uh, that's fine. That's fine. We'll tackle that another time. Let's just focus on, uh... Oh, what was it? What was it that I needed to do? Uh... I feel like... Did I do Shoal? Did I do... I probably did Shoal, to be honest. So I guess we're going the Cathedral route? Huh. 
I'm actually not sure whatsoever on uh, which uh, which side of the of the end game we're gonna head to. Ugh, that might be uh, pretty bad. I mean, either way, I know with uh, this character I haven't done the lamb or uh, blue baby. So, whichever way I take, as long as I make it to the end, it won't be a loss. So let's just make it to the end and uh, worry about the small stuff later. Keep yourself focused. Focus on the end game. That's where you want to head, anyways. And I still don't have a spacebar item, which sucks. Take the map. I guess. We'll donate. We're almost at 500. Well, yeah, we were almost at 500, and, uh... Take this. Yes. I think we're doing good damage. I, I really do. Now, I absolutely, without a doubt, hate... Like, absolutely hate this room. Like, this room is fucking bullshit. I hate it so much. Good. I'm lucky to have daddy long legs, really. Honestly, truly, I am. He just seriously, like, stomped on everyone. Alright. Uh, pill. Bombs are key. That'll give me more keys, which I do like. But we'll hold it for now. There's no reason for us to, uh, use it right now. There's no urgency to use it. So, uh, we'll keep it. Now, I could use a shot speed upgrade. Wow, those words actually came out of my mouth. Uh, yeah, I do need a shot speed upgrade, because my shots are super slow. Like, I could seriously shoot and outrun my shot. Like, and that's not a good sign. Or I could almost outrun my shots. More or less. All right. Yeah, we're doing good damage. I'm really happy with the damage we're doing. Uh, not the damage we're taking, but the damage we're doing. And we'll take the placenta. And I would like to go... I would have liked to go and... Uh... Oh, I'm not in permanent horror Babylon state. Right. I, um, I would have liked to go and play the Blood Bank, but at the same time, that's actually really good. Um, yeah, we will take this. But if I left the room, there's a chance that the deal with the Devil Door might have despawned and therefore missing my chance, which I'm really glad I didn't do because uh, Krampus's head is something that could really uh, help us through the game. Now, I will go back here, and I will play this Blood Bank. You know, at least to get more money, right? At the very least, to get more money. And that's it. Alright, well. You served your purpose. Oh, our donation machine's actually broken. Alright. Well, um, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take the HP, because I do want to stay in, uh, permanent, or, I want to stay in Horror Babylon State. Which, uh, I think is for the best! It'll help me kill stuff faster, therefore, uh, taking less damage, therefore, maybe succeeding more than I would otherwise. Alright, we got Necropolis. Um, you know, if we could go to the shop and if there's a compass, we could finally have a, uh, I don't think I've ever had a compass map, um, combo yet. I think the map is pretty damn useless, apart from the fact that, uh... Yeah, because, I mean, the draw for the map wasn't so much the... I'm out of this room, by the way. Actually, you know what? Fuck all of you. There you go. Um, The draw wasn't so much... The map's draw wasn't so much the fact that it showed you the layout of the floor, but it showed you the layout of the floor, and it showed you the secret room, which made it a, a lot more valuable before we will take that and we will take the spirit heart i like how we have like horns and a candle like right in the middle of our head that's fantastic i'm glad that uh, rebirth was able to make this happen 
And, uh, there's one more heart. Destroy the hearts! Talk the hearts. Day long Liz is just doing work. It's like, you know what? You, you could just sit back, you can relax. Let me take care of things for you. Let me show you how daddy does it. That, that sounded kind of creepy. Anyways, I feel like I've really turned this uh, run around just a little bit. Uh, at the very least. Flush. Not very good. Helps you clear a room, obviously, but uh, Krampus's head could clear a room and it recharges a lot faster, so... Uh, you know, I'll stick with uh, crap. I took... I took a half heart. I really hope there's a blood bank so I could go back to, uh, you know, being at a uh, Horde Babylon state. Holy crap, I'm so gonna use that. Thank you for stomping on it. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like, like there will be. Those are two really big. Oh man, I lost one of them. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go back and look for a uh, an arcade, baby. There might be an arcade. Maybe. You know, if you could stop hurting me, that would be great. Uh, we'll... Sometimes these things could have bombs in them. So, uh, I like to scoot like the... The chest a little bit closer. Since we're gonna not be in permanent horror Babylon, might as well take the red hearts, I guess. And yeah, that was my last chance for that to happen. So, uh, you know, I'm not gonna be in horror Babylon state. Um, however, we still do have a chance to uh, get a deal with the devil, deal with the devil. Ooh. All we have to do is give up uh, two of our hearts. And uh, yeah, that still won't put us in. I could have sworn that horror Babylon was just one single heart. It wasn't. You didn't have to be at half a heart for it to, to work, but apparently I'm wrong. Anyways, we will go to our boss. Yep. That was really easy. Pentagram, damage, great, solid. Um, I will take Rotten Baby, because... Just because. It's not a great item, but uh... It's not a bad item either I mean it helps and like I said I do want to go to that permanent horror Babylon and I feel like those words are just coming out of my mouth way too much all right so what we need right now is uh, a blood bank one we need um I don't know maybe a defensive item like big fan would be good halo flies would be good uh, How did I still get hurt? Honestly. Um, yeah, stuff like that that can minimize our damage. I'm not sure. Nothing else really comes to mind except like the wafer, but the wafer is a really rare item and I'm not expecting to get it, to be honest. Let's go in here. What do we have in here? A troll bomb. 48 hour energy is actually really good. So we'll pop this bombs or key, and we will take the 48 hour energy out with us. I think that was the right play. I feel good about it, at the very least. God damn it. I was really trying to clear out the whole room with that uh, Krampus' head charge, and I lost so much health. Well, not so much, but a decent amount that makes me not happy. Like, I'm starting to feel like Adam Sandler from Happy Gilmore. Like, when he starts, like, putting and he starts missing, like, all the putts, like, he just starts, like, ah, oh, you know, angry, typical Adam Sandler, you know, sh shiz that he usually does. That's how I'm feeling. What is this? That is, I can see forever. That's actually really good. Because maybe we could find some of our secret rooms along the way. We could maybe backtrack. Alright, that was horrible damage. 
And I'm starting not to feel so great about our run all of a sudden. Thanks to uh, my inability to freaking dodge properly. Like, honestly, I've been taking so much damage. That's wonderful. If only I can make it, uh, make good use of it. And what is this? This is Depths 2, so that is Mom. So let's finish up the floor before we move on. I forgot that we haven't gone to our item room. We still have a chance to maybe turn things around by getting the jump cartridge. I'm telling you, man. Like, okay. We've gotten flush, which we didn't take. We got in that, which we're obviously not going to take. That's two item rooms out of, like, six that have not been any use to us. Um, we haven't gotten a good deal with devil uh, items. I mean, I got Horde Babylon, which isn't even active right now. We got Rod and Baby, which, you know, like I said, it's not a great item. Um, we did pick up Krampus' Head, which is the only good item. We did pick up Pentagram for free, which is a good item. But, uh, you know, like, things aren't really going my way. Like it or not. Alright, good. Oh, man. I almost never take damage against the ghost. Alright, I have two charges on uh, this. So I could destroy mom, or the mom fight should be extremely, extremely easy for me. Um, actually, I do have the I can see forever pill. So let's go and look for our, uh, our regular secret room. Because we already found our second one. Yeah, alright. We have greed in it. Not fantastic. I actually don't like fighting greed. But uh, Daddy Long Legs makes it basically painless for us. Alright, let's move on. We're done with this floor. We're uh, we're ready to move on. And we're ready. We're not ready. We're not ready for, <laughs> for the womb or the euro or whatever else um, that comes after. There we go. Um, which way are we going? Which way are we heading? Small rock. I think that's the first time we picked that up. Um, yeah, let's go cathedral route. I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's the way I'm supposed to be going. We will take fear shots because um, it is a damage upgrade. Believe it or not, and it gives us a tier effect. And uh, we won't be heading down. Yeah, run away. And if only I could find a freaking... Well, I can't even use a blood bank anymore. Because uh, a blood bank will take a whole red heart away from me. So instead of taking a red heart, it'll definitely take a, uh, a spirit heart. Which I don't want it to. Why is this floor so complicated? I feel like this... Holy crap! Oh, screw you guys. So much. So hard. Um, I really doubt the boss is actually going to be in this general facility. Holy crap, we're going to die. We're seriously going to die after making it so far. I really did turn it around, and like I said, I really messed it up by taking ridiculous damage in, uh, in the depths. But uh, maybe we could salvage it. We'll see. I mean, we still have two hits in, it, in us, so uh, things aren't like super bleak right now. All right, good. Concentrating. Not sure how or how good that's doing me right now. Because apparently, I can't dodge for shit. There we go. All right, we might make it through to the next floor at the very least. I need like ceremonial robe or something. 
That is not ceremonial robe, but hey, I'll take it. Because it puts us in permanent horror Babylon state. That's the reason I'm taking it. And plus, one red heart isn't going to help us survive when, uh, you know, it only takes one hit to uh, really kill us. So. Alright, well. Alright, destroy everything in my path. Good. Let's go in here. Um, does this do anything for us? Maybe... Purple Heart? I have no idea. And um, the boss is not going to be down that way. It's definitely going to be um, on the upside of things. On the upside, do you hear me? I sound like some kind of, like, overprivileged asshole. On the upside of town, you know. Wow, that is extremely bad for us. That was just like, that might have like really just put us in a really bad spot because now I'm going to be really, really nervous and uh, man, <laughs> like that extra spirit heart is just like a confidence booster more than anything and I really wish I could reach that. I wish I could extend my fingernails and, you know, be like, yeah, I could reach you. It's fine. What's in here? Oh, satanic Bible. Holy crap, and then with 48 hour energy? So good! Oh my god! Yes? Right? I, I did the right thing, right? Holy crap, that really, really, like... Oh my god, that was so good! That was extremely good, don't get zapped by the freaking eye laser. Thank you. Oh my god, that might have just given me a second chance at life <laughs> in the game of life. Um, beggar? Yeah, not really that interested. Alright. You guys take, like, all the hits, please. I'm gonna just sit here, kind of spamming my attack, hoping it does enough damage to kind of, uh... All right, well, permanent invincibility, good, good, um, up to the cathedral. Now the choice became, do I take Krampus's head or do I take Satanic Bible? And honestly, I think I, you know, taking Krampus's head is the best option because of the fact that uh, it allows me to clear out rooms that would otherwise be really annoying to take out really easy. Um, and you know, Satanic Bible does take six rooms to recharge, so I'll be getting a Spirit Heart every six rooms. Well, I could maybe clear a room every, you know, three rooms, basically. Get what I'm saying here? Uh, we will head down. I hate teleporting enemies. I think they're the worst addition to this freaking game. Like the the nematodes, uh, not the nematodes. The they look like freaking blood clots, like the item blood clot, and they just like pop out of the fucking ground, like or they just pop right on top of you, like it's ridiculous. And there's nothing you could do about it but like bite your tongue and hope that you don't cut it off and bleed to death. That's really the only option here. Why did I go this way? Fucking A. Alright. Alright, go ahead. Might be good. Even though it's kind of late. The earlier you get it, the better it is for you. Does using an Empress card actually stack with uh, my Empress effect from... Uh, from having Horror Babylon? I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all, and uh, it looks like we might be able to get a crack at uh, at Isaac after all. Now, my chances of beating him aren't very high, I'm going to be honest. I don't feel like I'm doing enough damage to, you know, warrant or to really stand a chance against him, unless I'm doing really good, you know, with my dodging, but, uh, you know, that's... I don't know, that, that that varies. I feel like I've dodged pretty well for some of this uh, 
Like, see? Like, that one spawned right on top of me. That's not cool. Alright. Holy crap. Alright, well, yeah. I'm basically dead. No! Alright. Well, at the very least, I tried. And uh, it didn't work out. So, I hope you at least enjoyed the episode. And if you did, smash that like button down below. This sucks. I, I was really looking forward to doing this. And, yeah. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And like always, boys and girls, thank you so very much for watching. Hope you, I hope you are having a fantastic day. And I'll see you next time. Johnny.